So Hunter Hunter episode 49 was an episode like no other. I definitely gotta say that this episode really just like, it, it was, it felt like original. Like you don't really get this in shonen anime and manga where like two kids are trailing th this guy in broad daylight in the city. And it, it just has a, a real world aspect, like feeling to it. It's like, oh man, you could really picture this happening in the real world. In a way, of course, like it's fantasy. Like, you, you know, you never see little kids doing that. But at the same time, it's just in broad day, people following other people on some crazy mission. And, you know, just the intensity of like, yo, if we get caught, Kitawang going like oh man it's over and I, I was just really at the edge of my seat the whole time like oh man I hope they don't get caught what's gonna happen and I kind of knew that they were gonna get caught based off the preview but either way I was still like oh you know what's gonna happen how's this gonna go down and when they finally did get caught my heart jumped for a second I'm like oh, oh shit it, it's over and props to Kitawa like Yo, I can't wait to just keep seeing this character progress and develop and become even more mature and stuff because as a fighter it's like I don't understand why people don't normally bring him up in battles or, like, you know, just, uh, you know, top fighters that they like or gruesome fighters or, or you know, just something, a category to throw him in because he's definitely up there. It's like, yo, he had, he sacrificed the skin around his legs to try to get free from this guy. Like, the guy was holding him by his ankles and then he'd spin around and just to get away, took all the skin off. Come on, for a kid. That, that was Beast right there. And at the same time, you got, like, Gon is trapped on the other side. And what's going to happen? And one of the things I was wondering when uh, he was asked by the guy, like, uh, do you want to die now or later? I'm guessing he said later because then they're dragged away to the uh, Phantom Troop layer. Or not not dragged away, but, you know, they, they get walked to the Phantom Troop uh, hideout. And I wonder if they're going to all take turns just beating the shit out of them. They're going to give them a chance to live, just have some fun with them, like, you know, beating the crap out of them. I don't know. But either way, I'm excited to see what's going to go down. Uh, in the preview, I saw Hisoka is going to be there. I wonder if he's, like, working with Karapika already, and Karapika knows that they're in trouble, so he's gonna come out of nowhere, and it's kind of weird, like, at one point, I thought Gon and Kidoa had far surpassed Karapika and Leorio, like, they were just way beyond them, and then, like, now it's seemingly Karapika is way beyond them, it's like, oh, the, the chain user, he sounds like this legendary guy, right, like, oh, you know, the legend of the freaking chain user, do you know him, you know, and uh, he just sounds really badass already, like, he's getting a real kick-ass reputation, and I I'm just a little surprised, though, because, like, I really thought, especially going, I thought it was like, yo, he's out of the park, like, he, he surpassed him, like, the audio is kind of like, Right now, he's bum status. He's like, he ain't doing nothing. He barely knows any of, of the uh, Nen techniques, you know, or all the different techniques. He, like, knows one of them, I think. is like, step your game up, Leorio, because right now, out of... He's the oldest, too. He's, like, what, 19, maybe 20 now? And it's like, out of all of them, he's by far the weakest, like... Gon, Kido, and Karapika would annihilate him. So he needs to step his game up, just a quick note. And as far as the episode goes, it's like... It was, the pacing was just, like, really good and, like, suspenseful. I can't even really comment on the pacing because it was just, it was average pacing. Nothing slow, nothing fast. It's really good. And it was just, like, I guess a, a really good suspense and on the edge of your seat type episode. Like, oh, if they get caught, oh, my God, what's going to happen? And that's really what I got out of it. Uh, maybe you could argue that it's a little bit slow because it uh, starts off with Leorio sitting on his ass and on the computer and it's like, Leorio, get out of here. I had such high hopes for him. For me, he's kind of like the cool bar of Hunter x Hunter. If you know it's cool bar from Yu Yu Hakusho, he's pretty much like the human. Because like, these guys are like out of this world. Kodapika, the chain user, freaking raped Ube again. You got Gon, just this unpredictable kid. One, one person, I forget who it was, but he told me that like Gon, just to look out for him because... What was said in the previous episode about how he's unpredictable and you can't rate what he truly is makes me think, like, yo, I can't wait to see how far this character is going to go. And then you got Akitawa as well, just a freaking monster. Then you got Leorio. <laughs> uh, yeah, but again, episode solid. Can't wait for the next one. It's like, yo, just the, the edginess of this episode really had me on, on the edge of my seat. It was like, um, again, the only thing I could say is maybe... The audio is kind of like, ah, oh, he, he starting to like ruin the episodes in a way because he just doesn't have no value, no purpose. He's not serving any purpose at this particular point. And I'm like, oh, come on. I was really enjoying him in the beginning. And he's like spiraling down for me. He's like, learn some techniques. 
do something. But that's all I have for this particular review. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, thumbs up if you can't wait to see what's going to happen with Gon and Kidawan uh, next week. Now that they're caught, is Karapi going to uh, jump in eventually? Is Hisoka going to help them? You know, what's going to happen? I just can't freaking wait. And uh, yeah, as always, people, have an awesome day.